as ever. Ugh. Shoot! Shoot! I got the shield! I just figured out blues, blues, because I'm very smart. Alright, on to the next level. Oceania. 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 Uh, look, it's the aircraft carrier ship from uh, Ivan or Antov. And look, it's a fucking little spider monkey! Yeah! And at least he looks like he's from the country, even though it's a little questionable. He's probably Indonesian or New Zealand, I can't tell. But he's a fucking monkey. How can he be so fucking angry at him? His little tail jerking back and forth. He's so happy. Yeah! Shoot him again. And look, his tail's the bo the fuck me light. Yeah! Just keep shooting the monkey in the tail. It's the fuck me light. Charge it up. This tail's got the power of uh, a whip. Yeah, take that, you goddamn monkey. Usually he'll flip upside down and smack his ass for you, but I'm being a douchebag and just kill him as fast as possible. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we please, please don't more. Uh, now to Asia. Asia. Mongolia. And, of course, the Great Wall of China's here. You got a destroyed chank on one side, and the other side you have a giant fucking robot. Now, my question is, if this is the guy who just avenged the death of his father, why does he have to fight all these people again? It makes no sense. Uh, are we, you see us, Diane? We are the rivals. My duty is to protect Mongolians. Now I must teach you the sad reality of the battle game. Well, isn't war always sad? Probably, but when it comes down to mo fucking Metal Combat, it doesn't matter. It makes everything fun. It's like Contra. Y you don't care that you're killing so many, all these people. They probably have families and everything. It's just mass genocide. It's just a game. No, it's not. Apparently this game has such high regards for people that you must do whatever's necessary. And this is my only gripe about this guy is he always his fucking shields always close in. There's no way you can stop it. Uh, I just missed him again. Motherfucker. Alright, let's charge this bad boy up and shoot him. I can't even hit his fucking me like. Ah. You gotta love the cliched Asian music. It's almost as bad as turning Japanese. And I shot him in the face with one shot. See how easy that is, kids? If you want to kill someone, shoot him in the face. Yeah. You do that. I failed. You can do what you wish with Mongolia. You misunderstood. We battled the cheats so we may only reach the Natos. I don't care about Mongolia. Wait. I thought China built the wall to keep Mongolians out. Why would they want to go back in? Uh, going on to the next level. Uh, Babel. 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 Uh, Urush, pilot of Griffin. Hey, he is a cool looking badass. He looks awesome. <laughs> Let's see this courage. We fall to the earth. If the battle does not finish you, the heat, the friction heat of re-entry will. Oh, huh. so I got beam within a certain time limit? That would be sick. Oh, this is just like the fight with that one girl in the Andes. Although, I don't think we get to ever hit the ground. I mean, in the other, in the original game, you could keep falling and falling and falling, and eventually you would reach the bottom of the hill, or you'd reach the ground, and it would just be like a normal metal combat fight. At least there, it was a nice change of pace. Here, you just keep falling and falling, and now you can start to see this... This is actually a pretty good game for graphic wise, because I mean, you can see the little re entry heat forming around the bottom of the, of the giant fucking robot. 
Not too many games at a time would let you see that. That is actually pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. And the fuck me lights are two horns on top of him, so. And he's dead! I can't believe I have lost to mere children, but you are finished anyways. Now you will burn up and be gone forever. Feel the pain, grr. Well, I think this is the first time you ever see a guy die in these games. Awesome! Seems he is correct. We have no way to stop a fall. And what's this? Angel! Woohoo! Oh, it's a green chick! Yay! Uh, I came here to help you. Who are you? Blah blah blah. Right now, blah 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 blah. Time is short, let's hurry, blah blah blah. Warning! This can, at least this game warns you that you're gonna lose a shitload of health if you use the fucking uh, V system. Okay. Now we go to same guy we killed last time. <coughs> Only this time he's more badass motherfucker, and he actually has a fucking super scope. And he's got a pink eye, hey, but you should probably get that looked at because pink eye isn't a very good thing to have. It's like a possessed version of Goku or Vegeta when he's high on cocaine. And he's using a fucking bazooka! This isn't fair or anything. With the exception of its head. This guy has a thing for head. Maybe he likes to give head. Go! Nah, this is pretty much the exact same battle as last time. There's really no point in me commenting on it. So you just gotta sit back, shut the fuck up, and watch it. Because he's grinding up against the wall like a dog with worms. Uh, oh, you bastard. And yes, the game does slow down when you have so much shit on the screen. And I beat him again. I beat you again, and your eye still looks pretty fucked up, man. You need to get some, like, antibiotics for it. There is another reason for his rebirth. Okay. So he's not Mars. And we somehow get to... So he's not on the moon, and so we get to Mars somehow. Makes a lot of sense, don't you think, guys? Well, at least they have Olympus Mons, correct? And what? Oh my god, we're going back to hell yet again. I swear, what's with all these bad guys and involvement with hell? It must be like their dream vacation. Hey, I'm going to hell! Awesome! You know, seem too upset about it. No, I always wanted to go to hell! <laughs> Not even looks worse than Krang from Super uh, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Does a little power up. This is pretty much the exact same battle as the last one, so I really don't care what happens. I'm just I'm just hoping to God that he doesn't turn into a giant fucking robot with.